So what, what's present, what's preventing stocks like GMAB to go up, even though their fundamentals are strong? They're not the best in class. Um, one thing I've learned in business, sports, eventually it may take longer, but if you are best in field, you would get paid as the best in field. I like the company. I mentioned it before in Stock Club. But if you look at their top four competitors, you can't give me a reason why they may potentially be uh, be better. So like if a stock is always priced in a 20 to $50 range, there's a reason that institutions or pension funds may believe that they aren't worth the value long term to hold. So the fundamentals can be good, but are they great? So you got Regeneron, Gilead, GSK, Biogen, I won't even mention Lily, Biofarm. Insight, and you got a bunch of people in that bio space that are some dogs. They're good. The question is, like, are you there is no good or great that's best in everyone else? That's all investing is. If you go back to the days when IBM was leading in the 70s, they were the best. No one remembers the third competitor of IBM. No one remembers Standard Oil's competition from that when they got broken up. Who was the fourth best? You are either investing in the greatest company or the rest. They just haven't found a way. It doesn't mean they can't in the future, but they haven't found a way to make their company so valuable that they have to be declared number one. And I think if you guys stop avoiding that mistake and look at it, are they best in class? Investing becomes a hell of a lot easier for you. Great company, though. Revenue strong. Um, but they're, they're definitely not the best in that category. So, but what do I know? It's a guy in a blue sweater who's in his love of wear. What do I know? I'm going to get mad and stop talking one day. We're going to cut these episodes down 30 minutes. Well, like, what'd you say, Troy? Lightning round? You all lightning round. Yes, no, with lightning round. Just yes, wrap it up. No. Me and Rashad gonna find a way to talk toxic to y'all on blackout and you scale that. Okay. Got a trick for you. Okay. So we've educated you to death. Are they better than Amgen, Vertex, Bristol Myers Squibb? No. Gilead? No. GSK? No. No. Them some. You think Drake had a lot of competition this summer? That's a hell of a lineup. Biogen together. No. Mm mm. Man, if you don't have the regulators and the politicians on your side, Pelosi ain't bought no Gen Map costs. Not one time. Shot to Nancy Pelosi making $24 million a year. Y'all can't ask her a single question. Speaking about biotech, the industry that we've been talking about a lot, you know, ADMA is a stock that is up over 500%. Um, been on the tear. It was $3 a year ago. Now it's at $16.37. Yeah. Um, has that peaked? Yeah, you missed out. Just like if you missed out on NVIDIA at 92. Sometimes you just you just miss. You got to wait for it to pull back. Um, I don't know if it's peaked out, but it's now is not the time to buy in. You got to wait five or below five to be able to invest in it. Sometimes you just miss out. Yeah, big All drop. Opportunities don't come back. Yeah. But shout out to you for asking the question. Um... Are the others in the space? Yeah. I mean, historically, I mean, but you had all of 21, part of 22 to get in that three bucks. It gave you a long enough time. So you had two years to get in it. Yeah. For two years. That, that, there's a lesson to be learned inside of there, right? So like when you see a chart go like this and you're like, wait, it, what happened in last October or, or in 2022? What happened for it to spike this way? Yeah, that's when you go research to see what was there legislation that passed. Was there something new in innovation that's happening inside the space? What triggered it? Because then that could take you down a rabbit hole of like, hey, I know I didn't see this one, but if this yeah. space is starting to move in this direction, if it started trending in that direction, yeah, there might be some companies, big boy companies that are looking at this to say that's an acquisition opportunity. Yeah. But that's the, there's two ways to look at that. Yeah, I missed the opportunity, but wait, there's there might there's more inside this space. We can start to see it. Look at some of its competitors. Are the competitors moving in the same way? If they're not, then it's something that this company has that the others are looking at and saying, all right, they've got the first f form of it. Who's going to replicate it? Who's going to make it better? Who's going to make yeah. it more efficient to do it? So there's always opportunities inside of, of of runs like this when you miss them. Or invest in an ETF. 
easy fix or just realize you missed out. Yeah. They're going to join the S&P 600, but the auditor also resigned. <laughs> Get them out of here. Not a good sign. Give me the books first. <laughs> Tough. Bobby Flay over there. So, allegedly. Be careful. Thank you. Yeah. Right. There's no easy gains, man. All the easy gains are gone. The scam era, every industry is over with. Tightening up the ship. <laughs> That's a fact. That's a over fact. With. Yep. That's a fact. Um, facts. Okay. So, um, yes, before we bring our guest on, just to recap, you want to TSM, long-term hold, Microsoft, long-term hold, NVIDIA, long-term yes. hold. Eli Lilly. Eli Lilly, long-term hold. Visa, FICO. Google, we have to wait and see. I still like Google long-term. Yeah, we long-term on that. Yeah. Yeah, we uh, Microsoft for sure will open AI when open AI becomes public hold it long when SpaceX becomes public hold it long term um, Elon had them catch that rocket out there like a transformer and put it back in place <laughs> and listen this is I mean VOO BlackRock everyone keep oh, how can I invest in BlackRock be okay they have eleven trillion dollars under management. For those of you who don't know, that's a lot of fucking money. A lot trillion. Of eleven trillion on a casual. Okay. It's not that hard. Stop making investing hard. We've like forget democratize. We made it simple enough for a second grader to get it. VO, Apple, Microsoft, Amazon, Mercado Libre, Visa, FICO, Uber. Uh and the media list, Meta and Google, Eli Lilly. China's on an uptick because they're doing their own version of quantitative easing. What else you need? 